Hi, I'm John Keller. This is a short video showing how I use my Linux computer to create and present chemistry seminar slides. These are virtually identical to slides prepared using the PowerPoint program on a Mac or Windows machine. And the software is free. For demonstration purposes, I have chosen a diels alder reaction from a paper in the literature. Some of the slides, like this one, would be in the seminar presentation. Others just illustrate various aspects of preparing the slides. So, the title of the demo is An Intramolecular Diels Alder Reaction in the Synthesis of Salvinorin A Precursors. These are the programs I'm using. The diterpene Salvinorin A is the most potent naturally occurring hallucinogen, and it is isolated from the Mexican Salvia divinorum plant. In 2014, Peter Metz's group in Germany reported a partial synthesis of the ring B, ring C portion of Salvinorin A. In 2018, they reported the total synthesis. I use Marvin Sketch to draw the formulas for chemistry slides. This program has many familiar graphical tools, such as atom selection and moving, adding and changing bond types, and many others. Copy the structure as a PNG graphics file with the screenshot screen capture program. Then insert the image into the slide. This slide shows the notes display when giving a seminar talk with your laptop plugged into a secondary monitor. Impress displays the slide on the secondary monitor while the laptop screen shows notes, a thumbnail of the next slide, and various timers. PowerPoint has a similar viewing mode. Okay, back to Salvinorin. This slide shows a retrosynthetic scheme, which works backward from Salvinorin A to an acyclic precursor via steps that would be feasible in the forward direction. That is, the last step in the synthesis would somehow add ring A to the bicyclic BC building block, and the trans ring junction of the latter could arise from base catalyzed epimerization of a cis fuse ring system. Then the cis bicyclic compound could, in theory, be built by an intramolecular diels alder reaction of the acyclic precursor. Or, in other words, working now in the forward direction, diels alder reaction followed by alpha hydrogen epimerization and finally addition of ring A. What happened when the diels alder reaction was carried out in the lab? The results showed that after heating the reactant in a sealed tube for two days, the 3S4AR8AS isomer was by far the major product. The pure isomer was obtained by treating the mixture with strong base and alcohol and finally removing the other minor products by flash chromatography. Why is the major Diels Alder product cis fused? This slide shows a reactant pose that approximates this transition state. Five things are evident. 1. This mode of reaction puts the 8A hydrogen cis to the 4A methyl on the newly formed ring. 2. As in all Diels Alder reactions, the diene must be in the S cis conformation. 3. The E configuration of the diene already exists in the biosynthetic precursor, geronyl diphosphate. 4. The dienophile adopts the S cis conformation, which is about 5 kilocalories per mole more stable than the S trans conformation. And lastly, a vast amount of experiment has shown that endo transition states, where the carbonyl of the dienophile lies on top of the diene, are preferred over exo transition states. But even now there is controversy over whether this is due to orbital interactions between the diene and the dienophile, or to steric effects, or both. Density functional theory calculations show that the endo transition state is favored over the exo by about 2.7 gaycals per mole. The ratio of rate constants obtained from transition state theory is about 100 at room temperature. This slide shows one way to use WebMO to build an approximate transition state for an intramolecular Diels Alder reaction. These steps can be carried out on the WebMO demo server or on a copy of WebMO installed on your local machine. The best approach is to build the product molecule, then back off the dienophile. MOPAC PM3 is used here because it is faster than PM7, which is an issue on the WebMO demo site 
since that site limits jobs to 60 seconds. OK, here is the optimized product. Now click New Job using this geometry in Tools Edit Z Matrix. Find the entries for the C4A C8A bond, which here are atoms 3 and 4. Enter S for scan, and the final distance, say 3 angstroms, and the number of steps, say 10. Here is the result with long bonds. Using the Adjust tool in the left-hand toolbar, select the long bond and hit Delete. Next, right-click the diene bonds to make two double bonds. Flatten out the diene. Choose the Adjust tool. Click the four double-bonded carbons in order. In the Adjust menu, click Dihedral Angle and set it to zero degrees. Now move the dienophile back to within partial bonding distance of the diene. Use the Z matrix editor to select the C4A C8A distance and scan it to about 2.1 angstroms. Here I did the same at the other end of the dienophile, except that three items had to be set in the Z matrix editor. Freeze the diene dihedral angle to keep it flat. Freeze the C4A C8A distance at 2.1 angstroms and scan the terminal carbon distance, C8 and C7 in the product, down to about 2 angstroms. Linux versions of Impress and Marvin Sketch are perfect for creating and presenting chemistry slides. And with WebMO, one can visualize, edit, and compute molecular structures online using only an internet browser.